Well, the limitations of com computer methods is that they're all models. Uh, whether you're a physicist looking at the at, at the strings, which presumably are behind everything in the universe, or you're a chemist trying to predict uh, something about the uh, shapes of molecules and how they might influence the function of a protein. Uh, we don't have a, a universal principle which does this uh, in such a way we match entirely reality. So all models are approximate. And so what we need to do is to, is to use the biological response, how the cells behave, how an animal behaves in, in the case of a, of a drug, and see if our models are predicting the reality. And we very often are unable to predict well. And so by combining these different fields, uh, we can uh, improve our models, and we can refine them, and make them better predictive tools for a particular, uh, for a particular uh, problem. So, uh, and of course, humans have limitations too. We all make judgments, uh, and uh, half the time they're not good judgments, and so we, have to, we work in teams and we're, there's self-correcting mechanisms. So, in many ways, we're working in the dark. That's the biggest limitation, both with our computer models and with our thinking about the problems, and we learn as we go.